Well, hi everyone, this is Dr. Lorette Willis. I have a great message for you today. I've been praying about this and meditating on it and saying, Lord, what is the connection? And I believe I found it, glory to God. If you have your Bible with you, please open it to Psalm 103 verses one through five that says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And then it lists the different benefits of the Lord, that he uh, heals all your diseases, that uh, first he forgives all your iniquities, then he heals all your diseases, and there's a whole preaching right in there, that uh, you seek the Lord for forgiveness first, and you will be healed. All right, so you see how that goes, who forgives all your iniquities, uh, those sins, those things we keep doing over and over again, heals all your diseases, redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, fills your mouth with good things, your youth is renewed like the eagles. Now, looking at that, your youth renewed like the eagles, all right? That word renewed in Hebrew is Chadash, and Chadash means to rebuild, renew, repair, all right? Now, I'd like us to compare that and contra contrast that, compare and contrast with Isaiah 40, 31, all right? So keep your finger in Psalm 103, verse 5, and then look at Isaiah 40, 31 that says, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. And they shall renew their strength. And the word there is italicized, meaning that it was added by the translators, but it's not in the original, all right? They shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Look back two verses there to verse 29 in Isaiah 40. He gives, he, the Lord, gives power to the weak and to those who have no might he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary in their own strength, right? And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And again, that word there is italicized. So it's shall renew strength is actually what it means. And renew strength. The word renew here, it's different from the renew that we see, youth renewed in Psalm 103.5, hadash. Here it is chalaf, a little different, chalaf, which means, and this is amazing, totally different meaning, but very similar word, renewed, renew, right? To hasten away, to pass on, to spring up, to pierce or change, to abolish, to change, it says the word change again. So change is mentioned twice in halaf. Pass away, spring up, renew. So shall renew their, their strength. The word renew here, renew strength, that sounds a little different from their youth renewed, which means to rebuild, renew, repair. When I think of rebuilding something, it sounds like something that's already there. Okay, so it's renewing, rebuilding, bringing back, repairing our youth. Do you get that? Bringing it back. And yet in Isaiah 40, 31, those who wait upon the Lord shall renew strength. The renew here means to hasten away, to pass on, to spring up, to pierce or change, to change. It's as if that our strength passes away. You know how scripture says, where we are weak, he is strong? Your strength passes away. In Psalm 103, your youth is renewed. It's brought back. But here, your strength, your physical strength, passes away and his strength comes. In fact, when we look upon where it says those who wait upon the Lord, wait upon is kavav, kavah in Hebrew, which means to bind together, to bind together. Threefold cord is not easily broken, right? <laughs> With the Lord in the middle, glory to God. 
to bind together, to expect, to look, patiently wait for, or wait upon those who wait upon the Lord. You know, it's by faith and patience we inherit the promises. Bind together to expect. You're expecting the Lord to renew your strength. And the Lord is filling your mouth with good things, so your youth is renewed like the eagles. What are the good things that the Lord would fill your mouth with? The Word of God. So you can speak out such things as, I thank you, Lord, that as I wait upon you, I expect you. I hope my hope is in you. My earnest expectation is upon you. You renew my strength. My strength passes away. It's not really my strength. It says shall renew strength. That word there was added by the translators. So shall renew strength. Your strength passes away. God's strength comes forward. I'd like you to meditate upon that. Look at those two verses and start thanking the Lord that you are filling my mouth with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. And I was, I was meditating on what do eagles do? They soar. They go above the clouds. They're not moved by what they see. They keep their eye on the vision. Whenever there is a storm, when other birds are hiding in cliffs and caves and things like that, what does the eagle do? It goes above. Above the storm. It goes above the cloud. It goes above the circumstance. It goes beyond what it can see physically, goes beyond the clouds, and keeps its eye on the prize. Like we are to look upon the Lord Jesus Christ, that He is our mirror. He is our goal. He is the one who will renew our youth, renew our strength, renew our lives. Our hope is in Him. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you fill our mouth with goods. We bless the Lord. We bless you, Lord, and all that is within us. Bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for renewing our youth like the eagles. Do you receive that? That we soar above circumstances and that we renew strength. Our strength passes away and we are strong in the Lord and the power of his might. I hope that was helpful for you today. And I invite you to, if you haven't gotten this already, my uh, seven secrets to help you start aging in reverse. We talked a little bit about that spiritually, but there, is, there are physical things that we can do as well. And in fact, number seven in here is so powerful. I didn't even know such a thing existed, but it's something that you can add to your life very simply. Just click on the link below and I'll send this right off uh, to you. And then I'd be happy to talk to you about any of you know, anything that's in there. But go ahead and meditate on those two scriptures today. Click on the link below. I'll send you some information and help you start aging in reverse. I really believe it's it's possible. You know, like the scripture says, though the outward man perishes, the inner man, the inward man is renewed day by day. And if we see that, okay, the outward man does not have to perish quickly. There's nothing that says that. It happens at a, a rapid rate. <laughs> Amen? We can do things. We can listen to the Lord, have our youth renewed, changed, restored, and then as we lean on Him, He is the source of our strength. And we shall run, you shall run, and not be weary. You shall walk and not faint. I look forward to hearing from you. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.